Questions involving perpendicular bisectors are quite commonplace in exams. So let's have a look at this one. Find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of the points 10, 7 and 4 minus 2. Give your answer in the form ax plus by plus c equals 0, where they are all integers. So first of all, we need to find a point that this graph passes through. It passes halfway between the points 10, 7 and 4 minus 2. So what we need first of all to get the point is the midpoint of 10, 7 and 4 minus 2. So we get the midpoint by finding the average, i.e. the middle of the x-coordinates and the middle of the y-coordinates, add them together, divide by 2. Equals, well, 10 plus 4 is 14 over 2 is 7. And this one, 7 minus 2 is 5 over 2. And we're going to leave it like that. Next, we need to find the gradient. So we can't quite find the perpendicular gradient yet because we haven't got the gradient between those two points. So let's try and find the gradient between those two points now. So the gradient between 10, 7 and 4 minus 2 is the y difference. So minus 2 minus 7 over the x difference, 4 minus 10, which is minus 9 over minus 6, which cancels to 3 over 2. So we've got that so far. Now the perpendicular gradient is the negative reciprocal of the gradient, and that's just a fact you have to remember. So to find the negative reciprocal, we need to flip it. First of all, find the reciprocal, 2 thirds, then make it negative, change the sign, minus 2 thirds. So we've got the perpendicular gradient now. We've got this here, and we've got a point that the graph passes through. Let's work out the equation. y minus the y coordinate equals gradient minus 2 thirds, the perpendicular gradient, x minus the x coordinate. Now, hopefully, you can see this is made a lot easier by timesing both sides by 3 so that we don't have to multiply this bracket out using fractions. So let's time both sides by 3. 3y three minus 15 over 2 equals, and that by times in this side by 3, we'll just undo the divide by 3, minus 2x minus 7. Now let's multiply out that, those brackets. So we've got 3y minus 15 over 2 equals minus 2x plus 14. And we need all the coefficients to be integers. That's what the question requires. ax plus by plus c, where a, b and c are integers. So let's times everything by 2 now. That gives us 6y minus 15. Times that by 2 undoes the divide by 2. Equals minus 4x plus 28. Almost done. Now to get it in the required form, take the x's and the y's over to one side. So we'll take that minus 4x over the other side. If we add it, we end up with 4x plus 6y. And if we take 28 from minus 15, we end up with minus 43 equals 0. And that's the answer.